The Minister for Environment, Science, Technology and Innovation, Professor Kwabna Frempombwating, says it is not possible for a complete ban of plastics, but rather proper recycling can manage the situation for now. In an interview with GBC24, Professor Frimpong Boating says some plastics, such as grocery store bags, plastic cutlery, plastic straws, and chewing gum, can be completely banned. There are divergent views about whether to completely ban plastics, since managing it is still a big problem. Speaking on this issue, the Minister for Environment, Science, Technology and Innovation, Professor Kwabna Frimpon Boatin, said an environmental management policy has been developed and is awaiting implementation to know which of the plastics would be banned. Everywhere you turn is plastic. So when people talk about the ban of plastics, which one are they talking about? Is it the plastics in cars, plastics in the hospitals, in the shops? Plastics that keep us healthy, you know, um, so which one are you talking about? That is why we are very careful in talking about management of plastics. We need to have a strategy, but we have to do it in a sustainable way. Do it in a way that it will not affect our economy unduly. Do it in a way that it will not affect the health of Ghanaians and do it in a way that it will not affect our environment. So we need to balance a lot of things. So we have to encourage these recyclers of the different types of plastics. Ghana currently produces over 5,000 tons of polyethylene tariff salads, PET bottles. About 70,000 of these bottles are being produced and used monthly. These bottles are disposed of indiscriminately, choking gutters, affecting aquatic life and causing flooding. When not managed properly, the PET bottles can cause serious environmental challenges. Professor Frimpom Boatin says there are plans for public-private partnerships to set up more recycling plants and get the manufacturers to collect the bottles they produce. We can also do something with the PET bottles, uh, turning them into a fabric so we can sew a shirt or mat or some of covering for spaces for them and we are looking into all those things and here again we need a private sector uh, that will take up that business asked about the 1 billion Ghana cities that has been accrued from the 10 percent environmental levy paid by sachet water producers and plastic manufacturers professor from Pom Barton says he will speak with the Ministry of Finance to locate the said money since the collection of the levy was not done by his ministry. Oh my God. We, whether we, here we have one billion cities sitting somewhere, nobody knows about it. So we will find out. And when we find out, all the stakeholders will meet together and see how best we can utilize that money to make sure that we clean the environment and recycle the plastic that we have.